Safety first with this thing. So this is it. This is the week you guys have been waiting for that we took so long to make, but everything is in the house now. It's the house tour. So let's go back. But while I get back home, you guys check out the transformation photos that Alicia took over the progress of the house being built from start to finish. It's crazy. Three, two, one. If you guys want to follow this house, Alicia has an Instagram page for it called Simply in the Gray. She basically updates the house with anything that we do decoration-wise. If you guys want to keep up with us there, since we're not making as many videos anymore, that's where you're going to find it. So come on inside and check it out because you're going to be wild. Hello, will you let us in? Hi, look who it is, a chunky booty. Where are you? Are you hiding from everyone? No. Look who it is. You guys haven't seen her in quite a while. She's been busy with air traffic control. Say hi to everybody. Everyone's been dying to see the house, so we have everything put together now. She's gonna take us on the tour and show us the guest bedroom first, which I'm pretty proud of. I think it looks really good. Go show them the guest bedroom. You're the doggy in the window. <laughs> she, when we used to keep this door open right here, the kids used to see her in the window while we were gone at work. This is the bathroom that I doubted Alicia on the flooring. And it came out pretty good. Are you happy with it? <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's pretty simple. Nice big shower for everybody. Everyone's more than welcomed here. Whenever anyone decides to come over. Why don't you want to show daddy what your tricks are? But you've are. got plenty of stuff. You show Places daddy. to put come your in. stuff, the come bed. In. No, I'm trying to get her to come stay on. off come the bed. Oh boy, come there on. we go. Yeah, great, great good parenting. Doggy. What are you doing over there? Do you like the bed? So, uh, so you don't have much of a view out here, obviously. However, the window or the curtains close, so you have some privacy, but it is a beautiful day. However, it looks like it's nice out, but it's actually pretty cold. When I say pretty cold, like 55, but at night it actually gets down close to freezing. So Eric, whom has been in quite a few of our videos, helped me install every single four TVs in this house. And it was quite a job. And this one was probably the hardest out of all of them, but we don't have cable, but we do have something called an Amazon Fire Stick. So at least you can watch Netflix and other stuff. Oh, Zara. All right. Anyways, I picked this plant out at, where did I get that? Home Goods. Home Goods. It's not really real though, so there's no like taking care of it, but it looks good though. And it goes good with the floor. Alicia did all the decorating for the bed, which looks very inviting. Inviting? Hi, Bubba. Upstairs we go. This is probably the most exciting portion. I don't know if you guys care or not, but this is our patio, which we have a grill coming on Thursday. And it'll go out there and we're gonna have a party, hopefully here soon. You're gonna take them upstairs, or are you? Okay, yeah. She's just a real bundle of joy today. All right, upstairs we go.
like your drink so much? Is it a little sour or bitter? Or are you bitter? So this is, as you saw in all of the B-roll video, that this is the kitchen. We've obviously done some stuff in here that maybe wasn't in the video, but the thing I think that we're most proud of though, I'm gonna do it. you're okay. So she's gonna show you. We had to add some sort of privacy to the house, and since we're spoiled California people, yeah, we went all electric. <laughs> Pretty gives us a little privacy because, as you guys can see. Everyone can see us in the kitchen, and especially at night, we can't see out, but people can see in, and I don't really like that feeling. However, in California, your next door neighbor is within arm's reach, so we need a little bit of our own privacy. So the B-roll video you guys have been seeing is literally a B. Um, okay, I'll explain. B-roll video is all the slow motion stuff that I have all the music to. That stuff was shot literally like a month ago, so there's gonna be stuff that you're gonna go, well, wait, that wasn't in the video, but yet you have it now. B-roll. So. Video, I am. B roll video. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, moving on from the kitchen now. Whoa. Obviously, this is new. Ooh, hold on. I don't remember if this was in the video or not. Let's just take a moment to reflect. Ah, uh, ooh. Really? Like, I have to go and bleep that now. That's. The Alicia's back. Daniel likes it. <sighs> Well, the only thing that wasn't here was no, that's we didn't, we didn't have the this there. literally by the way like I gave her such a hard time about it, but It's about 300 pounds of solid white Carrera marble And I thought the two guys that were bringing it in were gonna drop it at any moment and they actually managed to get it up here without doing so I Didn't think it was gonna be worth the money, you but didn't like it at all. I didn't but now that it's in here and you see it like it really goes pretty good with everything. I just have to learn to trust her more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time with it, but I'm getting there. We got a 4K TV up on the wall, which is really cool. And then the one in the bedroom I'll show you later is the same thing, but the picture on it's amazing. As my dad got a curved TV, which I didn't get the curved, but this is a nice TV though. And then we decided to get a sound bar, which you guys saw in the video because we didn't want a bunch of speakers sitting everywhere and it's just a lot nicer, Ready? so. And then, yeah, we decided that we had no to again. No pants! The pants aren't in it. They yes, they are! Her, she refuses to buy pants to lounge around in that you can't not see through. They're like sheer. So I have to try not to put it in the video. Hopefully you can't see it. All right, go. Oh, yeah. More motorized blinds. Only downside is, is when the batteries go dead, you have to get up in there and pull them out, change them. It takes like eight batteries. So 16 here, another eight over there. We have another blind for the guest bedroom, and then we've got two for our master bedroom. So we're gonna be spending a lot of money in batteries if they're not efficient. But this is the thing I think we're most proud of out here though, right? And he hated the furniture that was going out there too. And now I did, it. I did. All right, so, so the biggest reason that we didn't make the video before now was because we were like, do we get balcony furniture, do we not? I had to talk her into it because she didn't want to do it. But now that we did it, she likes it a lot and as do I. No, I was that was not the story. Uh, yeah, the but... story was the only furniture we liked was very expensive and I said, we're done spending money. <laughs> yeah. And he said, no, we're not. And then he dragged me into Restoration Hardware and promptly put in the order with the little girl that worked there. Well, that's a little embellished, but it kind of went like that, but yeah. regardless of the fact, you can't have a house and not have a balcony with a view, so we decided to make it the next cozy place in the house. So are you gonna come open the doors up? Like literally? Like your servant? Yes. Booty! Yeah. So 
this is it. This might have been the sound that you heard outside while I was walking up, possibly. Our balcony, ooh, ah, amazing. So, the two chairs, when you see them in a picture, you're kind of like, I don't know if I like that. But they actually are very, very nice. And they're comfortable. And of course, I wanted the fountain because it actually drowns the target air conditioning units out. So you really can't hear anything. So we have a little more decorating. We're gonna get, uh, what's the tree called? Olive tree? Yeah, olive tree. So it'll look really cool, but it's supposed to be like really big though. We're gonna put some lights on it. We got these cool little tables. They're like sort of concrete and then two more there. And I'll have you know, they're extremely hard to move because they're round and there's nowhere to grab a hold of them. She's still trying to figure out whether she approves of it or not. Come on, come up. <laughs> I think she likes it. We got a rug to cover up the floor. We didn't really want to spend the money on like tiling this because it's just, you're not going to get your money back out of it, I think. And I like the rug, it's more comfortable. You can walk out here in your bare feet. Obviously we got the fireplace, which does put out some decent heat. And then we mounted another TV out here. This was actually the first TV we ever mounted when we moved in here. And surprisingly, it was probably the easiest. And then you got views on views. Never gets old. Don't you like the view? Don't you love it? Oh. And then when you're sitting out here in the couch and you're just like, ah, look at that. Beautiful. We're very fortunate. We have our parents to thank for that. Do you want to tell your mom and dad anything? Thanks for raising me to be a spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> so now Hi, she's going to take us upstairs. You coming in? So whenever you guys are ready to come over, we're ready to have a party. We haven't really had anybody over yet other than her mom and dad and brother and sister. So Daniel, Tam's been here and Eric, but... Jane came over. Oh yeah, Jane came over too, that's right. So we've had a few people, but I don't think the house has been put together until now. By the way, check out this crazy lamp. It was in the video too. That thing was a pain in the butt to put together. Do you not agree? It's Trying to get it straight. Right. Yeah. You know, we bought like what? Probably 90% of our furniture online. Yeah. All of the decorations, everything. And we had like one thing come that was damaged and it was a tissue box. And it was 10 bucks. Like how lucky did we get? I can't go first. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> she can't go first because well, we would see through her pants. By the way, if you guys remember way back in the video, this was where it was spray painted poop in the floor, which I've now come to the conclusion that I think it was Mike who did it. I'm on to you. But Zara decided she wanted to go to the bathroom here. And I mean, number one, and we didn't think it was going to clean up, but it did. Top of the stairs out to the if you guys remember, most of the neighborhood was not quite yet done yet. That is literally the last house on our side of the street. This neighborhood will probably be done, I bet, in a couple of months, maybe. Something like that. This so this is not done at all. Yeah, so this is the office. We have like no idea what kind of design or decoration we want to do in here, but I kind of like the direction it's going. I just don't know, like, I don't know. have seen a little of this in the videos that I've already shot. We got a mirror that we're gonna mount up on the wall here. Little social media slash artsy piece of technology. Flower, plant, whatever you call it. I don't, are we gonna mount that in here? I don't know, this room is yeah. just like- Room is very odd. I was like, wow, I got an office to do all my video editing now and we didn't even do our taxes in here. Like we just, I don't know, we haven't really used it much yet. Zara comes in here and lays down on the floor because of the sun. Thank you, where's your son? So, hey, Where's look, you gonna show them where you lay in the sun? Huh? There we go. <laughs> Are you comfy now? Yeah, nap time. Anyways, we have a, oh my. This is our other bathroom that's supposed to belong to what is supposed to be a bedroom, but we're really not gonna do much in here. We never really use it, so. We have a little bit more space here than we're used to, so. And we don't have any kids yet, which I don't want any, and I don't think you do either right now. No. <laughs> laundry room, it is laundry day, by the way, in the Burnett household here, so it's a little little messy, but 
Here, hold it on. is very nice though okay, because sorry. I've never had a laundry room on the floor the bedroom was on. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gina, you'd be so proud. She is really being the housewife of a lifetime here. Show them this because this is your pride and joy in here. We've got two more motorized blinds that are going to go on those windows because believe it or not, our house faces north and south and the sun obviously east to west. So the sun just blasts through these windows in the morning and you're pretty much up by 7.30, 8 o'clock unless you didn't get good sleep. Alicia put this and the one in the office together and they're from Ikea, which for those of you that don't know what Ikea is, it's a furniture store that is Swedish? Norway? Swedish, right? Sure. Anyways, the boxes come with like 10,000 pieces in them and they want you to put it together. And all of the directions are in another language. So it worked out. It's still standing. It hasn't fallen over yet. It has right? soft clothes. Yeah, and you can tell we don't have anything in it. It's just for looks. But it was cheap though, and it looks good. I thought it was gonna be too much white in here. Don't you agree? No. no. I knew what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, another 4K TV. We got a little Notice bench. How he put on planet Earth what? in every room. Yeah, because it's 4K. 4K. Come on. I mean, no you have one to really gives. Are you guys just glad that she's back in the videos? Look, now? no one cares about penguins. Yeah, look at look at that picture. I mean, it's just it's like we're really there. Yeah, I would love to be there right now. <sighs> Oh, and if you'll notice, we've been here almost two months now, and we have, yeah, no freaking screens still. And we keep calling and complaining, and they won't do anything about it. Yeah, they did. It, they put screens in houses that people don't even live in yet. Yeah, so us, as well as four houses down, have no screens because there's something happened with the company, yet houses after them, whom no one will live in for a month or two, have screens in them. So they were trying to get the screens pulled off those and put on ours, and the general contractor here, or someone, superintendent, said no. I'm not impressed with that. Are you? I'd like to be able to open the windows, but there's too much dust blowing around. The last piece of this whole house, the master bathroom. Okay, you need to put in some effort here. Okay, she's gonna put the effort in. She's gonna turn the lights on. No, I'm gonna clean up. Oh, why are we cleaning up? So that people don't think that we're disgusting. Yeah, and why would that be? Because of me. Huh. Yeah. Do you hear that? She admitted it. What happens if you put glasses on and contacts at the same time? You're gonna see a little, yeah. You're gonna, yeah, huh. Yeah, she got new new glasses from some place called Warby Parker. Yeah, they're uh, prescription. very- They're awesome. Yeah, they're very interesting. Glasses? Sunglasses? I don't know. And then this is kind of a mess right now, but this is basically the master closet. We're gonna eventually put some sort of built-in closets, drawers. We're just not ready to do that yet because we have too many other projects. And then she's really super proud of her flooring, which they're coming this week to actually fix a bunch of stuff that's wrong with it. We eventually in the future want to replace that slab as well as it's that. It's gonna be a dark gray cement looking slab. Yeah, we need to, we just put minimal money in here because we just didn't have any more to spend and we didn't know what we wanted to do at the time. So I think we have an, or you have an idea. I don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, before we go, I'll show them the, let's show them the garage. We did the garage floor, we painted it with epoxy. It looks awesome. But it was a pain in the butt. I got our all of our money back. That's true, she did. So let's go see that real quick. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay. Ta-da! It's like a black. It's hard to see, but it's very glossy and it has a lot of sparkle in it. We didn't want to go with the typical gray or brown that everybody does where they take like a bunch of paint chips, like dried up paint, 
and they crunch it up and then they basically throw it out over the floor and they do different colors of it. I didn't really like it because everybody does it and we wanted to do something a little different and when I showed Alicia the black with the sparkle I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, black, the house is brown. I didn't know how it would look so she said go with it and I'm actually kind of glad we did. However, the only downside, if you can see this, it leaves a lot of like, it's rain, so like water and just all the tire marks and stuff show on the floor. So you basically have to clean it out a lot, which makes it a pain in the butt. So we're pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. Back upstairs now. We'll go say bye with Alicia. So that's our house tour. It's taken a long time to finally show you guys, but we have everything literally like delivered. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. See? I doubted absolutely, literally, almost 99.9% .9 of everything did that she did. Did you doubt these couches? No, the couches I was okay with because I, you and I picked those out. Yeah. Like, I think I was okay. The, the fabric, I here, might have I'll been a little... I'll tell you all the things he doubted. All right, here we go. He the list is just going to start running. He didn't like the chairs in the family or in the kitchen. Yeah, those back there. He did not like the table. Uh, yeah, that was my biggest complaint, but... He doubted the color of the chair. Oh yeah, the leather chair over there, which is really comfortable, and it reclines too, by the way. All balcony, the patio. Yeah. All the balcony. Uh, probably the bedroom when we did the bedroom back at the, the old place. The office, the Ikea furniture. So everything. So basically, I'm a negative Nancy, and I'm just a really Debbie Downer. No, we love you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys want to keep up with us, because we're not doing as many of the videos, obviously, lately that we do plenty of stuff on our social media, like mainly Instagram. So the links are down below if you guys wanna to subscribe to those. And if not, then her Simply In The Gray Instagram will at least keep you guys up to date on other new things we do in the future for the house. Stonewall. Yeah, we may be possibly looking at putting stone on this wall. We need to get some quotes and prices before we do so. If we do, we'll definitely make a video on that one for sure, because that'll be a big addition to the house. But we are going to say something about her dad, Bill, but he doesn't quite have everything finalized yet. So legally, I'm not going to say anything yet, but he should hopefully be coming back in a month, maybe, if all goes well. So he's still in D.C., but... He should hopefully be coming back to California shortly, and then we'll get back to life as normal or unnormal as we know it. Yeah. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't have to do the click the subscribe button anymore, so we're not doing that. I but mean, technically you could. I could, but we did get a few new subscribers, so thank you to whoever did join. We look forward to having everybody out here. Whenever you guys can make it, there's room. There's a bedroom. And Zara says bye-bye. No more, no more driving with chunky booty for, for a while. She's exhausted, we so do we're gonna go. Chunky. Say bye bye, Zara, you bye close bye. video. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>